The Maasai Girls Education Fund was created to improve the literacy, health, and economic well-being of Maasai women and their families by educating girls and their communities. Our mission developed in response to the high poverty and illiteracy rates among the Maasai people and the interrelated fact that Maasai girls and women are denied their basic right to an education. In the beginning, MGEF worked to improve female enrollment and retention rates through need-based scholarships. Gradually, we found that cultural barriers to girls' education had to be addressed too. So we introduced community education workshops to help end harmful practices like early marriage, female genital mutilation, and teen pregnancy. Similarly, we learned that Maasai women still need independence and agency, even if they aren't formally educated. To that end, MGEF created special business trainings to rural Maasai women, which teaches financial management skills and provides seed grants for them to start businesses. Our objective is to expand our programs and reach in Kenya. Our community education program addresses the cultural beliefs prohibiting girls from attending school. We open dialogues between Maasai women and men and between mothers and elders. Our goal is to end female genital mutilation and child marriage, end the taboo on teaching children about sex, and change traditions that contribute to the spread of HIV. By expanding the reach of our programs, we'll accelerate the rates at which literacy increases and poverty decreases. Our strongest leverage point is our commitment to community engagement and outreach. We partner with on-the-ground, community-based organizations to develop and deliver effective, culturally appropriate programming aimed at addressing the barriers that prevent girls from going to school. MGEF provides continuing education and capacity building assistance to this all-female management team and in turn depends on their guidance to lead and carry out the programs in Kenya. Another important leverage point is our need-based approach to scholarships. We look only at the individual need of each girl who applies for a scholarship rather than merit. We consider financial constraints as well as cultural vulnerabilities like the risk of child marriage and female genital mutilation. This ensures that all of our students will be able to support themselves and their families. Once awarded a scholarship, we promise to support each girl through post-secondary school until she has the skills to join the Kenyan workforce. We work in consultation with our partner organization, MGEF Kajiado, to develop culturally appropriate program strategies. We receive guidance from their all-female staff and board of directors. Each member is an advocate for girls' education and represents one of the seven regions in Kajiado County. We also gain insight and cultural awareness from division committees made up of 49 women and local area chiefs throughout the county. These Maasai activists and educators are the backbone of our work. Our scholarship students are our beacons of success, and we measure our impact in numerous ways. First, we keep records of each student's performance and progress from the beginning of their scholarships until they graduate and join the workforce. When they've secured a job, we track how they contribute to their families and communities. We also look at the shifting beliefs held by community members at our workshops. We've found that after each workshop, both male and female participants are committed to ending practices like female genital mutilation and early marriage. We track this by requiring the completion of questionnaires following each session. To measure how successful the women's business trainings are, we do follow-up visits and provide mentoring from local bank officials. Though MGEF is a U.S.-based organization, we concentrate our efforts and funds on strengthening our partner organization in Kenya, as they're in charge of delivering the on-the-ground programs and handling in-country affairs. As part of MGEF's capacity building effort, we offer staff and board trainings, ranging from governance classes to formal post-secondary education. Over 130 girls have received MGEF scholarships, and those who have graduated are employed, active members of their communities. They help their families achieve a higher standard of living. They assist with medical expenses and school fees for their younger siblings. When they marry, these young women raise healthier children. 
With our community education workshops having already reached more than 7,000 Maasai women, men, girls, and boys, the support for girls' education and gender equality continues to grow. One of the greatest challenges we face is the high rate of in-country corruption. We have a zero-tolerance policy towards the misuse of funds. With more than a decade of experience in Kenya, we've also built a strong staff that is vigilant against corruption. When we began MGEF, another concern was the establishment of trust between our organization and the Maasai people. Through commitment, presence, and positive reputation, we've gained respect within the community. With additional resources, MGEF will expand our reach in Kenya. We'll deliver more community education workshops, catering to areas with the highest dropout rates and lowest female enrollment in schools. We'll also broaden our women's business training, empowering an even greater number of mothers with skills to earn an income. Ultimately, their financial independence will provide opportunities for the next generation. The majority of teachers and principals in Kajiado County are not Maasai, and discrimination against Maasai students is widespread. Unfortunately, we have no control over where students go to secondary school because they're admitted by invitation only. Therefore, we would build a secondary school where our students would have access to quality education and a positive learning environment.